guys, give it up for your host. Uh, yeah, fun well show. Fun well show. I know, I know what you're thinking. I am 14, all right? But don't look at me like I'm wearing the Danny Phantom t-shirt, all right? Shout out to those who watched it, all right? Yeah, it's a good show. It's a great show. It's amazing. Yeah, I watched it. I have older siblings, all right? I'm good, yeah. I'm good, guys. I'm not watching those reboot shits, all right? I don't give a shit. No, it's interesting, though. I am, I am 14. I've been doing stand-up for two years now. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, I know. It's great. And, like, it's weird, because I've been getting corrupted from stand-up. And it's so weird, like, how I've changed. I used to be so naive, dude. I used to think OBGYN was a gay pride movement. You know what I mean? Like, I thought 401k was a rapper. Like, dude, I thought MILF meant mommy I'd like fries, all right? I was wrong. It was, it's weird, dude. It's really weird. It's weird, because, like, my mom, she takes me to all my shows. And she's been doing that for two years. And so not only have I gotten corrupted from comedy, now also my mom's been corrupted from comedy. Does that, does that make sense? I'll give you, so basically, me and my mom, the other day, we were at this show, and this comedian, he was up doing this joke, and the joke he was doing was white pussy tastes different, right? And that was his joke, that was not mine. I'm like, dude, I was not expecting my mom to have views on white pussy. <laughs> expect her to say anything about it but but I swear to God my mom I swear to God my mom she goes next to my ear she goes next to my ear and she whispers in my ear white pussy probably tastes pretty bland <laughs> no I know dude it was like it was crazy it was yeah yeah thank you you can talk to her in the back uh, no Like, I, I was scarred, but also that was gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, I didn't know if I could hug her if I did dap her up. I'm like, that's, that's just stuff. Honestly, I don't even call her mom anymore. I call her OG, all right? She's too, he's too, she's too cool, all right? That's, that's insane, man. You really like that joke. Are you an, are you Indian? No, what are you? What are you? Mexican? So would you say that to your uh, kids? I totally do. You, you do? That, that means she's already done it, all right? She tells him every day, white pussy is bland, remember that. Hey, look, have a good day. A, yeah? Does your mom say shit like that? Uh, worse. Worse? Yeah. Do you have an example? Anything? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, the way they explain oh. shit. Oh, the way they explain yeah. shit? Well, like, if, if you want to learn how it's done, you can watch us. You can watch <laughs> throw up and shit if my mom said that. I don't know how the fuck. What kind of, what kind of psychopath, dude? Just use it, like, explain it to them. Don't, oh my God, dude. Never have I needed an example that bad, all right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy Just shit. Just to make them uncomfortable. But what if, what if he said, I want to watch you guys? What would you do then? I'm just kidding. What if he took you up on that offer? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd be like, okay, you call my love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good mom. Come on, give it up for this lady. Right now. I mean, I'm not really sure what she's doing, but yeah, give it up for her. She, that's good. That's good. It's great. No, but I, uh, I have an interesting family. I do. My brother, the other day, right? They've been, my siblings have been getting more comfortable with me ever since I started comedy. So my brother, the other day, my brother was telling me about how he was having sex with this girl, no condom. Right there. Because she was on the pill, Xanax. So it was all right, guys. It was, it was good. No, it was, it's interesting, though. It is. I'm, I'm Indian. I am. It's great. And I got COVID when it was going on. Did anyone here get COVID? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. And like, dude, 
Honestly, I knew I had COVID because I feel like any brown person knows when they have COVID because they can't taste or smell any of their food. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, dude, I knew I, I'm Indian. I knew I had COVID when I couldn't taste beef vindaloo. I was like, I was like, I gotta get tested. <laughs> There's no way. And I also feel like that's why white people don't believe in COVID. <laughs> or smell any of their food. Dude, white people, white people would be eating food with COVID like this tastes better. I don't know. What's going on with these mashed potatoes, bro? This shit is fire. And like, honestly, honestly, you know, you know that if COVID started in America, no one would have found that shit out for like two to three years. Only because it started in Wuhan, China, where people like, I think there's something going on, you know what I mean? Like, dude, they couldn't taste Peking duck, and they were like, alert the CDC, there's a global, there's a global pandemic going on here, guys. And I find it funny, I feel like white people's food is so bad that even their pussy tastes bland. All right, thank you, everyone. Give up here, host, everyone.